All right, what's up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Two Phones. I take you out, guy. Um, here with the great video. This video is the battle of the mobile virtual network operating wireless companies. Now, what does that mean? They, they, it means basically these companies come together and piggyback off the four major carriers or five if you include U.S. Cellular. Now, um, majority of these, they run off T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon, depending on data roaming and all that stuff. So it's really technical when it comes to that. But but for the simple fact, they use mainly AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and yeah, mainly AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. Now, the three I have in front of me is, and these are just packages, okay? These is just how some of them come in a package uh, with SIM cards, like TextNow. Um, they're, they're actually new to the SIM card um, industry now um, that they was started off with Sprint. Now they moved to T-Mobile. So now you can get a, a TextNow wireless T-Mobile SIM card, Nano, Micro, uh, however size you want it. Uh, Project Fi has been out for a year now. And Freedom Pop has been out for three years. So um, two of these are just getting established while one has hit the markets, hit the countries, um, hit, the, hit the states uh, nationwide, worldwide, globally. Um, and a lot of controversy between um, mainly Project Fi and uh, Freedom Pop for some fact that Project Fi really doesn't, Google really doesn't tell you which carrier you're using. I mean, which uh, tower you're running off of. It just says Fi Network. So whether you get LTE, 3G, HSPA, 2G, Edge, uh, it, it just varies on the location and area. But Project Fi is running off of, uh, what is it? T-Mobile, Sprint, US Cellular, and in UK, 3. Um, so they got like four carriers and three major ones in the U.S. And not only that, but using a Nexus device, you got Google Wi-Fi Assistant. So it will instantly connect you to an open Wi-Fi hotspot in the area. It just depends on whether or not that company is partnered with Google. And then Google will send you a notification to your Nexus device or Pixel device saying, uh, hey, there's Wi-Fi. You're connected to Wi-Fi. Do you want to be secured? Hit secure or just say not now and and go on with your merry life with staying connected. So Project Fi is a real smart, uh, I wouldn't say carrier, but a real smart connectivity service. It, it definitely keeps you uh, simultaneously connected seamlessly. And you could be even on the call and you could be on LTE and then all of a sudden Wi-Fi, uh, you get connected to Wi-Fi and it will switch to the Wi-Fi calling, uh, whether it's AT, uh, whether it's T-Mobile, Sprint, or your cellular connection. It'll still um, keep you on the call. You won't miss a call. You won't get dropped calls uh, unless the signal is very weak and no Wi-Fi is connected. So there you have it. Project Fi, it's a real smart move for those um, that want to keep connectivity and, and the prices now with project Fi really aren't that bad. So, I mean, starting point is $20 a month for unlimited talking text. There's $10 per gig. And then they have family plans where, well, not family plans, but quote unquote group pl plans where you can add another person on for $15 for unlimited talking text. And then you guys can share data. So, Give or take, I mean, if you got two lines and you're not trying to use data like that, but but Wi-Fi, you're okay with Wi-Fi, that's $35 a month for two lines. So you have to think about it like that. And yes, it only works with Nexus devices and Pixel devices. So um, now there's like five phones that Google Project Fi works on. So the Pixel XL, the Pixel Nexus uh, 6, Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P. So you have options now. You have different screen sizes, uh, different RAM usage, different operating systems. Uh, I mean, not operating systems, but different processors, uh, different RAM usage, all that. So uh, that's how Project Fi works. Now, how Freedom Pop works, they claim to be the first. Um, Freedom Pop claims to be the first freemium uh, company that um, supports, that, that gives you free phone service and um, 
technically it is, and then technically it's not. Uh, they they still go by the um, they still go by the factor of mobile to mobile. So if you know another person with Freedom Pop service, um, yeah, the mobile to mobile is free. Like anybody with Freedom Pop, they can talk and text to each other for free. Um, you get two hundred megabytes of data to start you off with, and then you could um add free data whether you downloaded a, a application, watching a, a commercial. Or um, sending sending out friend requests to get more people to accept you as a friend through the Freedom Pop Friends section. So um, it's a lot of workarounds, but if you take the time out and and, and, and figure it out, then yeah, you can get free service. Um, I don't have the Sprint version, but the Sprint version will give you 500 megabytes of data free. Then you will get 200 minutes and I think 500 text messages. And then, then all that all of that will be free, and then you can add is add on like another five hundred megabyte uh, bytes of free data. I think all the way up to one gig of free data. So you can you can manage to get up to one to two gigs of free data each month, depending on how you how you use it, how you work it. So like I say, it's it's a hit or miss. It's a hit or miss with that. And then all devices are uh, compatible. So like iPhones, Androids, they're all compatible uh, with the global SIM cards, which runs off AT and T towers. And that's another thing. Freedom Pop is 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 is, is moving moving forward too. Like Project Five with more than just having uh, one one major carrier to piggyback off of and, and use as a signal. So you got Sprint and AT and T with Freedom Pop. Sprint gives you the L LTE and their AT and T. Only gives you 4G, 3G, but the simple fact that um, you can use the service um, free for 30 days if you like, or you can continue to use the service. Now, the basic package they have is the free premium, which is like I just said, the 200 megabytes of data, 200 text messages, 200 calls, and that's all free to start you off with. But you can add on. And then the main package is one gig for $19.99 with unlimited talking text. You get one full gig and then unlimited talking text and all that for $20. And then they have this other plan called the WhatsApp Unlimited, which you can add on to the freemium. So you can use another app for free uh, without using any data at all. I mean, majority of chat apps don't use data. So uh, if you use a... Facebook Messenger, Google Hangouts, Viber, Line. Those apps really don't use as much data for talk, uh, talking or texting. It's mainly video calling, imagery. It's mainly imagery, sending out videos. That's what uses up data. So like the media consumption, audio. That was used up the data. Your, your text messages really don't touch your data at all. I mean, you, you'll see a kilobyte. I mean, a kilobyte is nothing. So... Um, that's how the service is really with free on pop. And I know a lot of controversy is going on with them because a lot of people say it's not free or when they do sign up or unsign up, they say that freedom pop is stealing their money out of their accounts. But technically they're not because if you, okay. Um, I, I had a person, uh, I had a buddy of mine hit me up last night saying that freedom pop stole some money from them or something like that. And I had asked them, I was like, okay, like when you first signed up, of course they give you that free trial of the premium. Now the free trial, the premiere and the premium, it is free up to the 30 day mark. Now, once the 30 days is up, then they will charge you. Now, if you downgrade, and this is why I told them, if you downgrade beforehand and then upgrade again to another plan, whether it's a two gigabyte plan, three gigabyte, whatever you use during that time frame. That's what they're going to charge you. They're not going to charge you the whole um, $20, $30 plan. They're going to charge you whatever you used up within that time frame before your cycling is up. So you have to be careful. Well, that's what it is. You have to be careful with, with, with the, the, the downgrading and upgrading because of the fact I, I screenshot him my uh, plans and billing and I'm like, they didn't do any such thing with 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 my account, and you know I check my bank accounts or you know uh, PayPal because that's why I use PayPal, and I recommend use PayPal for everything now. Just use PayPal. Don't use bank. Just use PayPal. <laughs> Sign up to PayPal. If you don't have a PayPal account, I'll be glad to give you my code. 
uh, let me know. I'll put my code in the description below. But simple fact is that they're they're not tricking nobody. They're they're basically telling you like, okay, zero down today. You get zero down today. The only thing you probably pay for is the phone service. I mean, not the phone service, but the smartphone or the actual SIM card. Now, some of the SIM sometimes they have deals on SIM cards where it's like five dollars or a dollar or a slick deals. They had one for twenty five cents um, for Black Friday and Cyber Sun uh, Cyber Monday. So it it really varies, and and and, and the highest. They go up to with the with the basic uh with the data plans is four gigs for forty four ninety nine, and I know that's very competitive when you're looking at AT and T Go phone just uh launched what not too long ago it just launched their uh phone plan with forty five dollars a month for four gigs and I think if you do the uh if you do the auto pay it's forty dollars a month so it's a lot of competitiveness. With Freedom Pop, considering they are using AT and T towers and Sprint towers, and I haven't had any issues with the Freedom Pop service myself. Uh, no data leakage, none of that. You guys can check out my videos. I did plenty of videos about Freedom Pop. All right, so that's the plan with that. Now, text text now wireless is um the the wireless service itself hasn't been. Like, it's, I think it's been around a year or two now, but like I said, with the SIM card uh, situation, they just now um, allow um, users to get a T-Mobile T -Mobile version of text now. They got Sprint. I have Sprint on my Moto G. Um, the service, is, it's, it's, been, it's been fair. It's been fair. It's nothing wrong with it. Uh, call quality is good. Texting is great. Data is, is awesome. Even on 2.5G, that's what they call it. 2.5G Unlimited, um, where I can still browse. I can still check my emails. I can still uh, use Facebook Messenger. I can still use all my chat apps and with no issues at all. Um, now, you will have issues with picture messaging and all that stuff. Once you use up your man data, let's say um, you use up the 500 megabytes because that that service is eighteen ninety nine a month with the limited talk and text. Um, with the basic plan is thirteen ninety nine with unlimited talk and text and one hundred megabytes of data. Like I said in my review, that's not a lot of data, but um, once you use up that that main data, you still got two point five G speeds, which people think is really horrible and is really bad. But I think it really varies on the device you got, the service you got. Because like I said, I got LTE. So it's still running off LTE. And to me, it, it, it didn't like it didn't it didn't even stutter. Like when I was uh, talking to people on Hangouts and I was sending out my text now messages when I was making calls, anything like that. And you still got Wi-Fi, people. I don't understand why people think Wi-Fi is so horrible or so bad. If you have Wi-Fi service at home. And you, you know your speed's not being throttled. I mean, it's a lot of places that don't throttle their Wi-Fi. And, and it's a lot of places that have a lot of, you know, a lot of Wi-Fi traffic. Yeah, that's why I use VPNs. That's why Google has that security thing going on with the Nexus devices. If you're on an open hotspot or open Wi-Fi, you don't want hackers and all that to see what you're doing and, and all that. So, it, I mean, it doesn't matter what service, what carrier you're using. Um... It doesn't really matter, people. You just gotta secure yourself. Uh, there are other, like I said, there are other applications out there. YMAP, YMAN, um, that that can help you um, be more educated about what's going on with the Wi-Fi connection, what's going on with your data connections. Like Open Signal is a great application you can look at, and they all work with these these carriers, with these wireless providers, and and things of sort. So um, the highest. The highest plan with text now wireless, I think, is six gigs. Okay, you can use T-Mobile or Sprint. Um, the highest is four gigs, $49.99. On Freedom Pop, you can use Sprint or AT&T. And you can go all the way up to 10 gigs from Project 5, which is 120 a month. And they run out with uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, and US Cellular. So, all right, let me know your thoughts on these carriers. It's your boy, I take you all guy. Here with the battle. Let me know which one you use and which one you like the best.